I want to help my spouse who's blind be more independent, but I also want to help him. How to find the balance is coming up. Hi, I'm Corey, and I'm on Matt's channel today, Blind to Billionaire, and I'm here to talk about a topic that Matt and I discuss frequently, and it's how I should be there to help him, but also be there to give him the most independence possible. Um, and it's a tough balance. I think whether you're married to somebody who's visually impaired or blind, or whether you have a boyfriend or girlfriend or a spouse or a sibling or a friend, um, it's important to give people who are visually impaired as much freedom as possible, but it's also really important to make them feel supported and to give them the, and, and to give them the help that they need. Um, so this is something that Matt and I have discussed a lot lately because it's something that I think we're struggling with slightly um, and also something that as his needs change and as our relationships change, um, how we can be kind of better supportive of each other. So today I would like to talk about how I can help him, um, but also give him his independence. I think a story that kind of comes to mind that recently happened is we were at a grocery store and typically, so he pushes the cart and I kind of pull the cart through the store and then when we get to the checkout, he gives the person our like cub rewards card and then I handle the credit card. Uh, and so something that I did last night is I had him run the card through the machine and like swipe it and him take the receipt from the cashier and it sounds like a simple thing but it's something that I usually just take the card from him scan it through do all of that stuff um, but I feel like it's something that he could easily really easily do if I just was more patient and kind of gave him just let him do stuff I think sometimes I take over and do more than I need to because it's maybe more quick or it's more efficient uh, or I just don't want to put him in a position where he might feel awkward but I think for him, he might feel more awkward not doing things when he can do them versus stumbling a little bit and then getting more confident and being able to do them more independently. So that's one example of something that we're gonna try change, or that he doesn't, he doesn't actually know we're gonna try changing that, but that's a thing that is important to me for us to try doing differently. Something else that Matt talks about that he wants independence with is when we're going on a walk or we're like taping, taping our YouTube channel. Uh, it's for, if I'm with him walking, which I, I always am, uh, it's, to, it's to give him space to like walk and do things um, and not necessarily like pull him around, um, which is kind of easy to do when you're with somebody who's visually impaired because it's easy to accidentally kind of grab their hands and like yank them in one direction or the other. But instead doing a better job, maybe giving cues, like verbal cues as to where we're going and what we're doing. And when we're taping the, taping the videos, he wants me to be close so that if he needs me, I'm right there, but not so close that I'm like on top of him and making him feel uncomfortable or rushed. So that's something else that we're working on. I think communication is essentially what all of this comes down to. I think that we can definitely improve on our communication and just like in every single relationship, you can always communicate better. And I'm glad that we had the opportunity to communicate about this today, just about that we both, um, we both want him to be independent and we both want him to need, you know, get help when he needs it from me. Cause it's my, it's my job, just like any spouse's job to help their spouse. So if he needs help, then I'm there for him. And if I need help, he's there for me. I think what it comes down to is communication. So I think if you have a spouse or a partner or a friend or a, a kid or a parent who's visually impaired, I think it's important to ask them what their comfort level is in, in different situations and then try your best to respect those. I think that it's easy to overstep and overhelp and then make the person who is visually impaired feel um, like they don't have the skills to do certain things just because we want to help. So to wrap this up, I think what's important is to be supportive but not pushy, to give independence but not leave your visually impaired partner feeling like they're alone, secluded, scared, um, like they're not, like you're not there for them if you need them. And whether that's kind of figuratively or actually. So if you're out with somebody, don't leave their side unless if they're really comfortable being left. Uh, if they need emotional support, give it to them if you're able to and hopefully you hopefully you are able to
If there's something that your person who your partner who's visually impaired can do, let them do it. If it's something that they want to try, let them practice. If there's anything you can do to give your partner more independence or freedom, um, let do it because otherwise it can be kind of an enabling relationship where, and I, I know I do this with Matt, where I just do things that that he can do because I feel like it's it's easier for both of us and I think it would be better if I let him do more. But that being said, be be there to be supportive, be there close by if, if he needs you or if your person needs you and I think that that, that will help. Uh, I think this is kind of a discussion. I think that there's a lot of ways you can support somebody. I think there's a lot of ways to give independence without necessarily um, leaving them in the you know, alone. So I'd like to hear what you guys think. I hope that this was somewhat helpful. I think it's just a matter of that we all have struggles and that we all, I want to help Matt be more independent, but it, and give him space. Whether it's, you know, sometimes Matt and I, you know, we'll, we'll do different things during the day. Um, and that helps too, I think. We, we don't need to do everything together because we do spend a lot of time together because we, we need each other and um, I think that sometimes we can do more things apart and that can kind of help too. I'm um, just kind of a variety of people in our lives, each of our lives. And I think that that can also kind of help with some independence or some space. So I hope that this helps. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or need anything, um, let us know. Um, don't feel free or feel free to comment below. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, Matt will be back tomorrow. So um, we'll both be here to answer comments or questions. Uh, thank you and I hope this was helpful. Have a good day.